YouTube Knife Community. What's going on, guys? Um, this is going to be the Saturday Stockman Stampede. I've seen a lot of the guys and, and gals within the, the knife community um, jumping on this. This has been around for a, for a little while now, put out by Terry's Knives and Man Stuff. And I want to thank Terry for, you know, for starting this open tag. These open tags really bring, bring the community together. Um, I haven't done one of these uh, open tags yet, but I'm going to jump in on it. Um, and I guess we'll jump right into it. Today we got a, a Buck 701. Um, and this, this actually has a couple stories to it. Um, you're going to notice the, the blade has been altered. Um, but, you know, we'll jump into the knife first. But first of all, thank you, Terry, like I said, for uh, for bringing this this open tag. I know it's been around for a little while now, and I'm I'm just recently um, jumping in on it. But, guys, this is the, the Buck 701, um, and this is from 1988. I usually collect 1987 knives, but, um, again, this has a story to it as well. Um, if you look here, you have the nickel silver bolsters. Um, you know, this is a Stockman, your three-bladed knife. Uh, beautiful, really nice springs on the back. Look how tight those springs are. You know, I just love the three the three springs. Um, you know, case knives, love, love case knives, but sometimes they'll have the two springs. Um, but, you know, just for its age, guys, 1988, really, really good condition. Um, not, not really any gaps to speak of at all. Has some scratching going on there. Um, but yeah, you can see the pins. Everything's all there. Everything is all there on this knife. Uh, beautiful wood. I'm not sure. Maybe one of you guys can let me know. Um, I should know this, but I'm thinking this is rosewood, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong on that. If somebody knows, they can let me know what type of wood that is there. But I'm thinking it's rosewood. But just in great shape for its age again the back springs there the pins the bolsters everything's all there um and i cleaned this knife up actually so when i got this knife it wasn't in this shape and i'll and i'll get into that but you know let's let's take a uh, look into the knife here for a second we'll start off actually and there's a reason that i'm doing this we'll start off back here um with the spade blade really nice snap on all of these blades you can hear that but you know, there's your spade blade there, guys. You know, you get you get plenty of uh plenty of blade length there. The size of this knife is is decent. Um, you know, it's it's a it's a good size uh it's a good size stockman. So you're getting plenty of blade length there. I don't have a ruler. I want to get one of those boards that have the um you know the inches on it and all that so I can measure these. But you know, you're looking at about I'd say a little bit over two inches right there, um, on that spade blade. And then if we look here, we'll go to the to the uh, sheep's foot. And again, great snap on that as well. A couple scratches on the blade, but nothing crazy. Good condition. I could actually, um, it does have an edge on it right now, but I could bring it to a better edge. Uh, just on the stone a little bit and then hit the strop with it. But you got your sheep's foot there and here's where it gets a little interesting so with this main blade this this knife actually came from i talk a lot about how i get my buck knives down the store and i'm gonna make this quick um but there's a gentleman i know down there not Vern, not the guy that owns the store but uh, another gentleman that's always down there he sits on the front porch and um while i'm talking i'll open this up great snap now you can see that main blade has been altered okay and i'm gonna get into that but uh, there's a gentleman that sits on the porch down there, and he knows I go in there all the time for buck knives. And I asked him, I said, do you have any stockmans? Um, he goes, no, he goes, I don't. And, you know, really didn't go on from there. I, but they all have my number down there. I get a call uh, about three weeks later, and he goes, hey, you still interested in a stockman buck? I said, yeah, I am. He says, I have one that I personally bought back in 88. He said, it's a 701, buck 701. Uh, he goes, the only problem is the main blade, the tip's broken. <clears throat> I said, let me come down there and, and check it out. So there was a little bit of the tip broken on it. Okay, this this would have been a little bit longer. Um, and a little bit of the tip was, you know, it was it was missing on there. Um, but I knew that one way or the other, I could get that, that blade looking, you know, back to where, you know, it's, it's decent. And um, he actually, uh, you know, 
I had to give him a couple dollars for it because I wanted to. Um, he were, he really wasn't asking, but I gave him just short money for it, um, and and he accepted, and and uh, it was it was that's how that story went. So when I got this knife, Big J, you know, uh, months and months went by, and I said to Big J, I said, hey, I said, do you think you can fix that? Um, because I have stones where I am, and he has you know he has belts and all that. He says, yeah, send it over. So he actually reprofiled this, you know, he fixed he fixed this. Um, if you look at it there now he says it looks a little funny because of where the swedge is here now it's hard for him because of where that swedge comes down um you know to to get that but you know what from how it looked this thing was a flathead screwdriver uh it was a flathead screwdriver guys and uh big j my boy he hooked me back up and um i was just i was just over the moon when he um sent this back to me you know, he was just saying, he's like, you know, it's kind of hard. It looks a little bit funny because where the swedge is and, you know, the fingernail groove there. I said, hey, Jerry, brother. I said, man, you did a great job on that. So that's the two stories of how I acquired this. Uh, one of how I acquired it. And then two of how Big J, how he, uh, you know, he fixed that back up for me. And um, I couldn't be happier. You know, these 701s and the 700 series, I know Big J, he collected uh, all of the 700 series. It's funny because he got me into case knives and uh, I kind of got, got him on the buck kick. And when I got him on the buck kick, he uh, he really started to, um, you know, collect collect buck knives. He went on the 700 series kick and uh, it's just a great thing. A great friendship that has uh, just been been great this whole time. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to bring you this, uh, this 701, um, you know, give you a little bit of a, a backstory on it and i thought i would join in on the uh open tag by terry and uh yeah guys so this knife is you know from 1988 like i said still going strong i cleaned it up when i first got it it didn't look like this it was all gunked up inside um you know these blades were with this it was just filthy but i uh i got it cleaned up and uh big j put a put a working edge and a tip back on this uh back on this blade here and thank you big j for that brother i greatly appreciate it so anyways terry thank you for this open tag this is going to be a short one big j thanks for hooking up this knife brother and uh yeah i thought i would jump in like i said on this open tag and uh just fun stuff guys you know this community is just the best i say it all the time we all say it you know and um it doesn't get much better than this guys We'll see you tomorrow on the live, 5.30 Eastern, 4.30 Central. We're going to have HT on. We're going to be doing fixed blades, and uh, we'll catch you guys there. All right, guys. Talk soon. Take care. Oh, if you're new, subscribe. Please do like the video if you like it, and do comment. Love talking to you guys. We'll see you soon.